Yeah, what's up guys? Grown the Hobby coming back to you guys with another hockey break. Another of my faves. There it is, the GTH box. That's right. Uh, I got a, this card, by the way, on the left side there, for the OPG Mini. That is not suspended emitter. There's no magic or anything. It's sleeved and top loaded. Um, and that is, just so you guys know, ESP hand numbered 5 of 27 on that stammer there. Just want to show you guys that if you're wondering or anybody would ask a question. That's what's up there. But yeah, guys, let's see what eight random packs we have in the GTH box hockey edition here today. Hopefully get something cool. I've had some luck lately, that's for sure. Let's hope it keeps rolling here today. How about that? We start with an 8990 OP Chi. I'm pretty certain that's what year that is. 8990 OP Chi. We'll set that there. Some 1920 SPA hobby, obviously. Uh, we got a hobby pack of 9495 series. I think that's two. Retail of 93.94 Series uh, 2. 0607 Fleer. That's a hobby pack. Looking for some Geno. And how about an 0506 Series 2 Retail? Looking for the Grade 8 Young Gun. 2021 Metal Universe Hobby. And then an extended series uh, retail fat pack of uh, you know from 2021 there. So, yeah, some interesting packs here. I think I'm going to do these two packs first because I've opened a few of these and... Some of these, they tend to stick and drive me nuts. I think this is the worst one, I think, of them. Let's see. Go and check it out. It's still fun to rip the product and stuff and to break into it. And you can definitely get some cool cards. But unfortunately, yeah, you hear that. Uh, that's one of the risks, obviously, of uh, opening certain years of cards and older cards, you know, and stuff like that. Any sport, not just hockey, not just upper deck, you know, any brand, any sport, any product. All right. Sergey Makarov, that's going to be an SP insert right there. Uh, Vyacheslav Kozlov. Marty McSorley. Lots of different ways to flip this here. That is paper loss, I think, and not ice. David Volick. Got Kevin Miller. Michael Pekka looks like this is going to be for the juniors. He was a pretty doggone good player in the day. Manny Fernandez. Uh, flip these around. Alexei Kasatonov. Kasatonov. Alexei Kudashov. Robert Cron, Dave Pauline, and juniors of Edvin Freiland. Interesting looking uh, picture there. Definitely some paper loss again, but a Cool looking card. I'll give him that. So nothing crazy in that pack. That's okay to be expected. Let's do this is a hobby pack of uh, 9495. See what we can pull out of this one. So we start with an SP insert right off the bat of Alexander Solovanov. Then we got Eddie Belfour. How about that? Eddie Belfour. Eddie B. Sylvain Cote is gonna be here as we turn him around. Dean McCammon. Oh my gosh. At least they're not stuck to, to each other. Yarko uh, Varvio. Eric Lacroix. We got something coming up here. Nice little die cut action. Ooh, I thought we had uh, Gretzky there. Stewie Barnes. Former great pen there. SP die cut there of Adam Graves. I guess I'll set that in the sleeve pile. Uh, Gino Ochik. Steve Ruchin. Rack Bonk, Calder Candidate. Interesting one. I don't recall seeing those before, but uh, I'm sure it's not worth much. And then another juniors here of Vitaly Yachmenov. So, all right. I've got those kind of crazy-ish packs out of the way. Let's do our A990. Why not? OP Chi. See what we can pull out of here. Other than that uh, decrepit gum. Throw that over there. All right, so Glenn Anderson starts us off. Mark Howe, uh, Mike Ballard. I think Joe Sackick's rookie is uh, found in here. Eh. Don't quote me 100%. I get my stuff jumbled up sometimes here. But uh, Alan Bester, Jim Poplinski, Dave Gagne is a nice one, and Grant Fuhrer. So a couple of pretty doggone good players, not rookies or anything like that, but still pretty doggone good. All right, nice little blast from the past in that one. Now let's do let's do our extended series since it's a retail fat pack. It's probably going to be mostly base. You might have one insert in the middle. 
Probably not going to be anything extreme. We'll fly through this pack probably because you guys have probably seen enough of the base out of this stuff by this point on either this channel or other channels out there. So, like I said, yeah, I'm just going to kind of fly through this and get to the, the meat of where the insert would be if there is an insert because a lot of these might not even have an insert. Like Bukestad. And you would think it would be right around here if we're going to have one because we're in the middle of the pack. Looking like this might be just a full-blown base pack, guys. I think this one is. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything crazy here. Nope. So we hit a base pack on that one. So definitely nothing doing in that one. That's all right. Let's do... Oh, man. What do we want to do? What do we want to do? Well, let's do a 607. It's a hobby pack. Let's get a Geno. I think you can find a Tanger in here as well. Crystal Tang. Uh, Phil the Thrill, Phil Kessel, yeah. Some of the names. I'd love to get a Gino though in here. Mark Parrish, Michael Ryder, Jason Arnott, Matt Sundin, Lee Stemiak, Dion Phaneuf, Mark Denis, Keith Primo, getting the block off. And then our last one is uh, Total O, Hank Zetterberg there. And uh, yeah, nothing really doing in that pack, unfortunately, really. All right, let's do, I'm going to do, what the heck, let's do our 0506 Series 2. Let's see if we can get a Alexander Ovechkin. I have a bad feeling, I'll tell you that, not just about the Alexander Ovechkin, but these cards, based on the back of the pack, feels like we got some stickage going on here. So even if, I mean, it doesn't sound terrible, but uh, I guess it's not terrible, terrible, but it's still there. I guess it's not as bad as I thought. Backwards, a little bit more so. All right. All right, so Thomas Plikanich, Marty Baron, I'll just flip it like this. Matthew Lombardi. Vesa Toskala. Uh, which way to go? All right. Make me flip all these around. Patrice Brisebra. Rick DiPietro on his terrible contract. Marty Turco. And there we go. Diary of Phenom. Said so the kid, these are one per retail pack, 30 card subset, and then Brad Boy's victory update. So, nothing there. I think I'll do Metal Universe first. It's a hobby pack. Let's get a PMG. Let's get an auto. I don't know. Let's just get something cool, right? Love Metal Universe for sure. All right. We start with a Vander Kane, Jonathan Huberto, Andre Kopadar. John Klingberg, I think it's a net deposits, I want to say. Nicholas Jalmerson, and it is a Bone Byram. I'll take it, though. It's pretty cool, Bone Byram. Yeah, oh, there we go. That's a nice way to end that pack. How about that? Kirill the Thrill, Kirill Kaprizov rookie card. Now that is a nice one, for sure. I'll take that all day long. That one's going to get either one-touched or sleeved and top-loaded. All right, 1920 SPA. Let's get a Future Watch Auto of I don't care who. I'm just being honest, guys, because an auto is an auto sometimes, and it feels great to pull an auto out of packs. Big name would be nice, but uh, I'll take an auto of anything. All right, Steven Stamkos, and we're not going to get one because I can tell you guys we have a um, Spectrum Effects Future Watch coming up, but it still could be a decent player. So Stammer, Carey Price, our Future Watch is level one, so that's the lowest level. Vili Hanola. So nothing really, like I said, crazy doing there. Alex Tuck and William Carlson. So still not a bad break, guys. I mean, it was a little bit of fun for sure. You know, uh, cards I kind of set aside there that obviously the Villy, the Kirill, the Thrill. And then from the old school, the Calder Candidate, Radic Bonk, and the Die Cut SP, Adam Graves. So fun stuff nonetheless. Please do me a favor, like, subscribe, share, click that bell notification button to be notified of future videos. Lots more of them coming to you guys, as always, in the description below. You guys can find my email address, mailing address, and Instagram handle. Other than that, I hope you have a great day, a great night, wherever you all are at, and we will see you next time.